for the sign of Capricorn hello and welcome to my channel so Capricorn in the recent past we have perception and on the flip side of perception it reads see the past through the lens of grace all that has occurred is designed to support your spiritual growth and evolution so perception is paired with worth waiting for and this card it reads divine timing is at work in your love life so for some of you Capricorns in the recent past it was about trying to maybe let go of the past could have been a person or a situation and maybe you were successful at it and maybe you were not successful at letting go of this past person or situation and um, what you probably should have focused more towards is realizing that um, the situation or this person came into your life and it was designed to support your growth and evolution evolve you spiritually and just know that with this card worth waiting for, divine timing was working in your love life. Probably bringing you towards the person that you were truly meant to be with. But you had to go through this perception period. Whereas you had to let go of something. So that you would evolve and grow. And then it takes you to divine timing with someone who was worth or someone who is worth waiting for so that's your recent past that probably happened for a lot of you Capricorns or maybe that was something that you should have done in the recent past so let's move on over let's take a look at the present time we have ten of cups and it's paired with a nine of cups now the ten of cups it's another one of the most uplifting cards that you can get in a reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a m more mature, grown-up, global kind of way, as opposed to what we have below, the Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment, which is the Nine of Cups. Either way, uh, these are two really good cards good cards for your present time especially the ten of cups the nine of cups is short of one cup but both of them are good so you want to get these two cards in a, in a reading anybody would love to have it now this ten of cups it's about a happy family life even if you're single and it also includes the general well-being that goes beyond you it goes beyond yourself to include those that you're most concerned about. Could be your parents, siblings, children, and much more. Also being spiritually fulfilled. It's a part of this picture. Uh, this, like I said, this is a really good card to see, regardless of any question. Now this Ten of Cups, when it talks about love and relationships, if you're worrying about... A relationship and you get this card in a reading the ten of cups trust me it's a clear indicator that you you don't have anything to worry about you and your person you're on the same page and you probably don't even know it and if you're in a relationship but it has not become formal or committed and you hope that it comes to pass take heart it's coming Make sure you don't sabotage things by causing problems where there really aren't any. Not with the Ten of Cups. Now, this Ten of Cups, like I said, it's with this Nine of Cups, just short of one cup. And it's one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to get in a reading, just like the Ten of Cups. Uh, it's, this Nine of Cups is a wish card, it's known as the wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about 
is likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. Now, this card is showing that it's a portent of happiness, good things to come. It also could mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, if you're curious or wondering, is this a yes or no? And it's something good, it's a yes. Yeah. With the Nine of Cups, it's definitely a yes. When it talks about love and relationships, this card is a very good card in the tarot for love. For your love life and if you're already committed or in a relationship it's possible that it's going to deepen become better sweeter and if there's some single capricorns out there listening and you get this nine of cups in a reading it's a good time to meet people so make sure you're getting out there socializing having conversations with strangers um yeah the ideal now is with the Nine of Cups is to have fun because this is a wish card. So for some of you single women out there, uh, go ahead and get yourself a pretty lace front wig, some false eyelashes, and put them on. Yeah, put your, if you're not used to getting out, this would be the time. Just put yourself on uh, social media, Facebook. Pretty yourself up. You know, this is a really good time to make something really good happen. Um, that's if you're looking for love and you're single, Capricorns. Um, yeah, so your present time looks, looks fabulous. Coming towards the end of March could, could lead into April. Ten of Cups and Nine of Cups. So... You could be having a lot of dreams come true with this Ten of Cups in a very brief period of time. Uh, and then this Nine of Cups, you're gonna, it's a wish, you can have your wishes and dreams come true with this Nine of Cups and you're gonna feel really blessed and satisfied. Very blessed and satisfied. So I like this present time for you Capricorns. Yeah, so make sure you're, you're doing things and you're not just sitting at home. And if you're confined to home, like I said, put yourself on social media. Do something. Do something online with putting yourself out there. Because some really great things can happen for you around this time. Now, let's take a look at how your person is seeing you. They see you as the Six of Cups. And it's paired with the Knight of Wands. So, the Six of Cups, I like to explain this card. It's about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always, connected with children or childhood. It's going to be important um, in March, or it could be towards the beginning of April. Uh, you could find yourself spending too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. Just looking back for some reason. You find yourself drifting away like that. Uh, just know that we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But keep in mind, if you start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then guess what, Capricorns? Guess what? If you start to do that, it can become... A self-fulfilling prophecy so try to avoid doing this if this is if you find yourself doing this now with the six of cups it talks about love and relationships if you're currently in a relationship this card is showing that the relationship probably needs to be refocused towards the future talk about your goals dreams try new things it's going to be important not to stay stuck in the past. Now, when you get the Six of Cups, it could also mean the reappearance of an old lover, someone from the past. So you might want to think long and hard before you restart an old romance. Because we all know that exes, they're usually exes for a reason. 
So think about that before you jump, jump back in or invite someone over. Now this Six of Cups is how your person is viewing you. They're viewing you as, they see you as someone who they're very comfortable with. They got a lot of happy memories with you. Um, you feel very familiar to them. You probably feel like they, they, um, they knew you from a past life or they know you from a past life. They just, yeah, you're their comfort comfort zone that's how they see you so this six of cups it's paired with the knight of wands now the knight of wands the knight of wands it usually means travel feeling charged up, full of energy, um, ready to get a lot of things done, self-confident, um, reaching towards your goals. Um, it could be about messages, because the Knight of Wands, they're message bearers. The messages are really positive, very positive. Everything's moving along here. Everything, your projects, you're more successful than you expected, predicted. So, your person sees you as fearless and brave in this connection. Um, wanting to um, charge forward in a very positive way with this connection. Uh, they see you have a lot of energy about them. Yeah, so they see you um, possibly wanting to improve your feelings of closeness substantially towards them, towards this connection. And like I said, with this Six of Cups there also, they're very familiar. They feel really comfortable around you. Um, yeah, so they got a lot of happy feelings, happy, warm, cozy feelings towards you and that's how you see them I'm sorry that's how they see you I do get these tags twisted but just just bear with me I'm kind of new to tarot but uh, I'll get better so just hang in there with me I I did say this is how they see you didn't I and I think I just switched the words but this is how they see you they see you as this They're comfortable with you. They see this. They, they see you as uh, happy memories. And they see you as wanting to charge forward with a lot of energy to put into this connection. And that's how they see you. Okay? So, sorry if I got it twisted. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. Now, you see them as the seven of swords and seven of pentacles now the seven of swords it could be about someone who is behaving with less than ethical attentions it can mean prying into someone's life where you don't belong so if you sense that someone is spying on you you could be right and if you Capricorn, if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you just might want to resist the impulse because we all know everyone deserves privacy. Now, when the Seven of Swords talks about love and relationships, if you're already committed in a relationship, this card, uh, it's a clear message that trust. There's some trust issues there. It's very crucial. And if you're feeling suspicious for one reason or another about your partner, you need to make a point to talk about it, even if it's difficult. 
because if you try to be passive aggressive it's only going to probably backfire and make things worse and um yeah, if you if you're single and you get this seven of swords, what that means is that you could meet someone very interesting. This person will be interesting. So you might try to avoid appearing as though you're not interested. Because prospective suitors they'll move on to someone who's more engaging. Strive for balance. So that's just a little tip. Or if you're single and you get the seven of swords someone interesting could come along so that's what the seven of swords brings you and this is how your person uh, this is how you see them you see them as possibly stalking you well, now the seven of swords can mean tactics strategy manipulation games so you see them as possibly using some mind games um, being manipulative you could see them as possibly maybe they maybe they read a book on uh, strategy relationships how to get someone to do something um, manipulate people um, so you see them as um, not really trusting so they're using some type of manipulation probably just to get what they want out of you or this connection or you could just see them as keeping close tabs on you watching they're watching you when you aren't aware of it so this is how you see them as the Seven of Swords. And you also see them as the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles, um, with this card, things are going well. And um, yeah, Seven of Pentacles, things are going well. Because you see how this lady, she's pouring water into a plant. And it's you see how big it's gotten? It was probably really tiny when she first had it but it's grown to it looks like maybe over six feet yeah so and she's continuing continuing to want it to grow she wants to nourish it take care of it so um, the seven of Pentacles it's a card about returns on investments it, it can be such as a bank account returning money to you or such as the investment of time and effort and energy that you put into a relationship. So at this time with the Seven of Pentacles, you'll be reaping what you have sown. And this is usually very positive. So you'll be feeling more secure than you have in a while. And things will be moving along very well. And you'll be feeling really hopeful about the future with a good cause when you get the Seven of Pentacles. So, this is how you're seeing your person also, like the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. So, you could see them trying to uh, maybe figure you out. So, they, they might be using some games or something. And I'm using the word figure out more so than stalking. Because cause you got the Seven of Pentacles here. Uh... They really want to make this connection work. They really want it to work with the Seven of Pentacles. But you're seeing them as um, doing it in a way that you probably don't appreciate. Yeah, like I said, maybe using some games. Maybe, um, maybe strategy or something. That's what the Seven of of swords is about but just know yeah they really want it to work and this is how you see them now let's move on over let's take a look at why it's all happening it's all happening due to the 
King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Now the Queen, I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles, it's about usually about success in money matters because when you hear the word Pentacles, that's coins, that's finance, income. So success in money matters. When this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick. Now is the time to follow the established, possibly the traditional way of doing things. When this King of Pentacles stands for an actual man in your life, it refers to a very masculine type of fellow. He could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. And if it is referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can believe in and trust in. Absolutely. Absolutely. When this King of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, uh, it's a great card for this. Great card. Someone could come along and absolutely, absolutely try to sweep you off your feet. So try to put your best foot out there and don't pretend, well, you won't have to pretend to be someone else. Or you won't have to pretend to be someone that you're not, put it that way. And I say this because the King of Pentacles, they'll love you for exactly who you are. So be honest and everything should fall into place. So... Yeah, everything should fall into place with this uh, King of Pentacles. And if you're currently involved with someone and you get a King of Pentacles, the relationship could move to a more comfortable place. But if you are dissatisfied in a relationship, you'll need to say so for things to change. It's all about communication and talking. And not expecting your lover to read your mind. So, this is one of the reasons why it's all happening. Uh, this King of Pentacles. Uh, there's a lot of energy in this connection. That you or your person or both of you want success in this connection. Yep, want success, um, is looking for secure, security in this connection, uh, looking for commitment. Yeah, so, this is King of Pentacles is good, because like I said, you or your person or both of you want this connection to be successful. And because it's paired with the Queen of Cups, now the Queen of Cups, it's a very positive outlook in a, in a relationship. Yeah, very positive, this Queen of Cups. Uh, the Queen of Cups is the type of woman that, or person that will be very helpful to you. And the Queen of Cups brings a lot of love and compassion. Possibly to work. Or it could be other areas of your life. And, um, yeah, things will be better with the Queen of Cups than you're realizing. Yeah, it's a very positive energy. It's a, the Queen of Cups is a very nurturing person. It's very healing and supportive. So... Basically, why it's happening due to the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, someone wants a lot of, someone wants this connection to be successful, basically, with this King of Pentacles. And they um, want to secure it and make it probably committed with this King of Pentacles. And uh, you or your person or both of you. I'm picking up you, Capricorns, but it could go either way. With this Queen of Cups, uh, there's a lot of nurturing in this connection. There's a lot of healing 
healing energy and a lot of support in this connection. And uh, this is a good thing, these two cards. So someone wants success and then someone wants to nurture and heal whatever's whatever's problem has got going on in this connection and be supportive. So that's why it's all happening. And basically this reading, like I said, the present time looks fabulous. Who wouldn't want the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups in their reading, especially paired together? Like I said, coming towards the end of March, could lead into April, you'll be able to do anything you put your mind to. And you, you probably won't even have to try that hard with these two cards. But like I said, make sure you're just not sitting at home. And if you feel you have to just sit at home, put yourself out there, like I said, online. Do something, because you've got a really good present time for you. And uh, then we have uh, how they were seeing you. They see you as, as familiar, comfortable. So you guys might want to try some new things. Yeah, some new things um, with this Six of Cups. It's about trying new things and not staying stuck in the past. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. And, um, yeah, so, and you're seeing them as possibly doing a lot of observing you or watching you or maybe even stalking you sometimes. But they, they're doing this because they want it to grow. They want this, they really want things to work out with you. So they might be just trying to figure you out. Um, and then this King of Pentacles is all about success. So success and the Queen of Cups is wanting to nurture, nurture this connection. So this is a pretty good, pretty good darn reading there for you Capricorns. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Um, also, there's a link for, for personal readings in the description box. I want to say thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. When I post my next reading. When I post my next reading. When I post my next.